How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best settings you should be using here in Black Ops Cold War Year 2. Now, first and foremost, if you guys can hit that subscribe button for me so you do not miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos, make sure to also smash the like button so this video can reach other people looking for this same kind of content. Let's jump right into it. Now, when it comes down to it, I get a lot of questions regarding my settings. We're going to start here in the graphics because this has to be the most asked question I receive. What is the best colorblind settings to be using here in the game? And it really does make your game much more vibrant just because it just really ups the saturation of the overall game itself. So the colorblind type you need is Tritonopia. This is what it really gives it that saturated look. We'll go back here. As you can see, this one's much duller. This one's a little brighter, and this is just absolutely normal. But as you can see, the Tritonopia is much more saturated. And believe it or not, those nameplates are actually much brighter and easier to see. So you guys can choose whatever colors you want here. I personally use yellow for myself, blue for the allies. I use gr like lime green for the enemy. And then my party color, I like a lighter blue. Let's jump over to the next setting. Now in the graphic setting is, is where you can find the field of view. I personally like 110, but you guys really need to play around with this yourselves. So you guys can find what you're extremely comfortable with there. You're going to want this ADS field of view at affected. This will put you at 80 FOV while aiming down the sights. It just zooms in the target much more. You do not want to go with independent. It will make your visual recoil control much higher. And on top of that, it is just not worth it at the end of the day because you're going to miss your target. You're going to lose track of your target much easier. For the vehicle aiming field of view, you want this affected as well. This is more of a zombies thing. And I guess in the other ground war playlist, I forget what it's even called, combined arms, I believe. Um, but yeah, you're going to want that affected as well. In motion blur, you're definitely going to want this off. It does give like a realistic feel, feel, but at the end of the day, you're going to lose your targets with all that blur going on. So make sure you just have this disabled. Now, there's only one audio setting that I wanted to show you guys. You guys can copy these if you want to, but I didn't really change anything. The only thing I did was turn off the music volume, uh, but the audio presets here, you're going to want to put this all the way down at high boost. This will make the footstep sounds much easier and clearer to understand where they are coming from. I put it at Treyarch Mix, so I didn't give anything away while I was going through those previous settings there, but high boost is definitely the go-to for me. Like I said, it really enhances those footsteps and it will give you a much better idea of where your enemy actually is. Now for the most important settings, it's going to be your controller settings, especially for you people that are new to the game. This is going to be a test and trial kind of thing. You guys need to go into custom games and figure out what works best for you. For me, I've been building up my sensitivity over the years and eight seems to be where I find myself most comfortable. It is fast, but at the end of the day, it's not too fast where you end up sacrificing accuracy and overall affect your play as a whole. So I like to stick at eight, but you guys need to go into custom games and you guys need to figure out what's most comfortable for you. Throw on some bots, see where you can push the limits to. For the ADS stick sensitivity, I like 0.8. It will just drag your controller analog stick right along the enemy extremely well. I have been pushing this up as I've gotten more accurate and better at the game, but 0.8 seems to be where I am most comfortable for both stick and for low and high zoom. Uh, I don't see myself going above eight to be 100% honest, because at that point, it's not even worth it. You're just going to be back at that standard one. And the lower actually does help quite a bit. Keep you on track with your aim assist there. For the button layout, I have default. All this stuff is going to be preferable, just overall preference. But for this aim response curve type here, I do go with linear. This is after testing all of them throughout the first year of the game's life cycle and now continuing into the second year. Linear is where I found the most success. Dynamic is the one that everybody uses in Warzone, and I just don't see it really being necessary. You're not taking nearly as long of range gunfights. Linear is definitely the go-to for me. It, but again, it's going to be a test trial process. You guys need to go into custom games, and you'll see what I'm talking about the linear. But once you guys uh, find one you're comfortable with, that's what you need to use. Now down here, we have the gameplay aspect of the controller settings. Target aim assist needs to be enabled. For the target aim assist mode, I have Legacy. This is the one that they do use in Warzone, and this is the one I definitely prefer. I don't really have much to say about it. Like I said, a lot of your controller settings are going to be you going into custom games or into games and actually playing and figuring out what exactly it is you're comfortable with. But I highly recommend Linear and the Legacy combo there. They feel extremely good. Now down here in advance is where you will find your thresholds for your controller if you have stick drift. So for me, I have a problem with my left stick where I struggle to sprint sometimes. So I lowered it down to 54 and I have not had any issues there. If It's going to be testing if you do have the same problem as me where it feels like you can't sprint 
then you just keep lowering it until eventually it just will sprint all the time and then the right stick is if you do end up having some stick drift while you're aiming to the left right up or down that's where you're going to find that now down here we do have this auto sprint feature you're going to want this on it makes it just you don't have to jam your thumb into the controller altogether you just push the stick forward and you'll start sprinting it also makes slide canceling automatic all you need to do is slide and then aim down the sights and your character will stand right back up this is something that was ga'd in competitive strictly because it just took away some of the skill factor i guess in competitive but in a public match scene especially for people trying to get better auto sprint is definitely a go-to like i said sprint or slide canceling is a big part in this game and it just makes it much easier i don't have much else to really cover here with the settings overall but if you guys do have any questions make sure you shoot them down in the comments for me and i'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability I have a brand new gameplay for you guys with the new reactive XM4 that just hit the shop here in Cold War. So we're going to jump into that right now. Hope you enjoy. I have this brand new reactive XM4 blueprint. I don't know why this wasn't released in the game's primary life cycle. But this thing is beautiful. I did make some few minor changes. Just cosmetic, of course. It doesn't really... Just to make the thing look good. I have no aim assist. Ah! We're gonna dip out of here. Oh my god. We're gonna go this way. They released a grab Mastercraft. I'll be uploading that soon as well. They uploaded that not too long ago. Or I uploaded that. They put that in the game not too long ago, I should say. That stinks. I'm not going for a nuke or anything, though. We're just going to try to vibe out on some kills here. I just screwed that up. I didn't mean to put that there. Another one there. Guy in the window with a sniper. I knew he was gonna kill me, the no flinch. He's gonna be there all game, but this thing, let's look, let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm not an anime fan by any means, but this is pretty cool. I vibe with it. So you guys are seeing this with my settings video. And that's just because this just happened to come out. I didn't think it was going to be there. But this just happened to come out when I wanted to do my settings video. It was nothing further than that. I wish I could have done a whole dedicated video on this, but... They're going to spawn a jeep, I think. No. Okay. We got another war machine to use here. Anybody back here? No. Okay. There was a guy back there, too. There's one in the house as well. Kind of taking this a little slower now. Yeah, I knew it. There was a kid in the house. I knew it the whole time. I called that. Eliminated. 
All right. We're going to try to keep this streak alive. That's why I'm playing a little slower. Keep it alive just until... Just until the round is over here. Another guy. All right, we're on a 12. Enemy All right, over. and we got the harp to start the next round. We'll keep this going. All right, we have the harp here and the strafe round. I'm probably going to hold the harp for a second because I think I was on a 12 or 13, but I'm not 100% on that. Wait, there's a guy. I heard his suppressor. 16. Wait, somebody on my team has a harp. Somebody on my team has a harp. Let's go. They're spawning behind me. I'm out of ammo here. Destroyed jammer, good. That's teammates. Okay. Stay away. We got ammo, that was the goal. Here we go. Kind of stuck here. Couldn't keep it alive, man. Let's hit the nuke. All right, we have 81 kills. We got the nuke, so that's a W all together, man. W all together. So I have a special video, guys. If you guys have made it this far, I want you guys to comment down below secondary because I'm going to be doing the top five secondaries in Black Ops Cold War tomorrow. It was a, a video that was requested quite a while ago, actually. It was probably back in year one. I said I was going to do it. I never did it just... Got preoccupied. Forgot that I needed to do it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be coming out tomorrow. So you guys can get a good look at that. I'm probably going to... I don't know if I should do, like, just pistols, or I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. Because one of my favorites is actually the nail gun. I think that's actually one of the better secondaries in the game. And with the nerf of the marshals, it has changed quite a bit. Not exactly the same. Chopper gunner. I haven't seen that streak used in a while. I can't hit the kid. I can't hit him. <laughs> that was embarrassing, Loki. I got tomahawked. All right, we'll get him off C. Oh, we got the 100 bomb. GG's. This blueprint is pretty cool. I'm just a little, little weird that they decided to put it in the game. Securing B. 
after the game's life cycle is over. It's kind of weird to me. Anybody? They're all going to stay in the house. Oh, this is the kid running smokes. And he's going to be in that corner right there. Yep, there he is. GG's, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.